and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. This is the life, eh, Cringer? A sunny afternoon, a hearty lunch, and a beautiful view to paint. Well, at least it's peaceful. Just call me Adamo da Vinci. I think I'll get a little more water coloring in before lunch. On second thought, uh, lunch now, painting later. Mmm. <laughs> huh? <laughs> All right, Orko. Orko! Orko, be careful! Oops! <laughs> what in the... Sorceress? I am projecting my thoughts to you from here in Castle Grayskull. Something is wrong here at the castle. I dare not take the form of Zoar the Falcon in order to summon you in person. You must come to Grayskull at once, as He-Man. I'm on my way, Sorceress. By the power of Grayskull! Castle Grayskull, Cat. What in the world's going on? Well, it looks like the sorceress is throwing some kind of far out party. <laughs> The sorceress wasn't fooling when she said something was wrong here. Let's go find her. Sorceress, are you all right? Yes, He-Man. Whatever is happening, it seems to be harmless. It's almost as if something was trying to get your attention. He-Man, you just may be on to something. Offhand, I'd say whoever it is is trying a little too hard. Oh, mystic mirror, all-seeing, all-knowing, this strange intruder to us now be showing. Thank you, sorceress. It's such hard work trying to get your attention. Sandor, ah, uh, I might have known it was you. You're being rather bold in light of your past crime. Uh, what, er, I mean, who is he? Sorceress? 
That, He-Man, is Xanthor, former keeper of Eternia's greatest treasure, the golden disks of knowledge. And a very poor keeper he was. The crime was mine, sorceress. I will tell my own story. Long ago, He-Man, the wisest men and women in the universe came here to Eternia to store their knowledge on the golden disks. The Council of the Wise made me the disk's keeper. Yes. And then came Skeletor. In a moment of weakness, I gave the disks to Skeletor, who promised me great power in return. You can see for yourself what power I received, He-Man. None for my crime. I was banished to the Phantom Dimension, doomed forever to travel throughout Eternia as an invisible phantom with no body. Your story is a sad one, Xanthor. Sadder than you know, He-Man. Skeletor is a constant threat to us because of the knowledge he gained from the Golden Discs. Because you betrayed us, Xanthor. But if you're a phantom, how did you cause all that commotion just now? I know the evil of my crime, and I know the Council's punishment was just, but I also know there is still good within me. By concentrating on that good, I was able to have some power in the world of men again, and I used it to summon you. Because I want to make up for my crime, I wish to appeal to the Council, but I need your help. No, Xanthor. You received a fair hearing. Your punishment was just. I cannot go against the decision of the Council of the Wise. But perhaps... What, he -Man? You know what's best, Sorceress, but if there is enough good left in Xanthor to bring him this far back into our dimension, perhaps he deserved to be heard. You make a convincing argument, he -Man. Xanthor, it looks like you have a champion. The only remaining member of the original Council is Zodak. I will try to summon him here. Thank you, both of you. Since the Council of the Wise disbanded, I have served the overlords of the Eternal Dimension, keeping watch on the affairs of mortal men, but never interfering. But since this matter involves a decision made when I was on the Council, I will hear you out, Xanthor. I am grateful, Zodak. I wish to be released from the Phantom Dimension so that I may atone for my crime. And how do you intend to do this? By returning the golden disks of knowledge from Skeletor's clutches. And what makes you think you can? Because I know where he has hidden them. What? How do you know this? I have been to Snake Mountain in my phantom form, unseen by Skeletor. I even tried to take them from him, but in my phantom form I could not hold them. And how do we know that this isn't more of your treachery? Perhaps you plan to sell the discs again to a higher bidder than Skeletor. Zodak, I swear I will give them only to you. Release me and let me get them back. And you think you could take on Skeletor's evil alone? But he's not alone. With your permission, I would like to accompany Xanthor. He-Man, why should you risk yourself by helping a known traitor? Because I believe everyone deserves a second chance. So be it. Step forth from the mirror, Xanthor, into our dimension. You will keep your phantom form, but you will have the abilities of a mortal man. Thank you, Zodak. I won't let you down. Come, Xanthor, let's go. You said it, cat! With any luck, we should be at Skeletor's lair by daybreak. Ugh, don't remind me. That place gives me the creeps. To Snake Mountain. Cat? <laughs> Snake Mountain. Now we must somehow climb to the top without being noticed. No, He-Man. When I came here as a phantom, I found a secret entrance down here. It's behind those falls. Follow me. Come on, you 
to. It looks safe enough. Come on. I smell a trap. Your nose isn't that sensitive, cat. Come on. I'm worried. This door must be linked to the central controls. If I break it down, Skeletor is sure to know we're here. He'll find out when we break into the vault the discs are kept in anyway. You think it's a trap, cat? Maybe. Skeletor's chambers are at the top of the mountain. The discs are down here. We can be in and out and gone before he can do anything about it. I hope you're right, for all our sakes. Here goes. Here are the vaults, all right. Yeah, but which vault are the discs in? The first one on the right. Discs of Knowledge. Xanthor, were these discs made of gold or just painted gold? They were made of solid gold, of course. Then these are fakes. What? But why? Skeletor probably made phony discs to fool anyone who came looking for them. <laughs> you guess correctly, He-Man. But you'll never find the real discs. And you, Xanthor, it'll take more than the Council of the Wise to save you from my clutches this time. When you broke the vault lock, it set off my silent alarm. You should have run while you had the chance. Now it's too late. <laughs> That's some you're trapped in, He-Man. Not even a mega bomb could dent it. Not only have you lost the discs, you've lost your freedom as well. Now what do we do? Xanthor, if Zodak was correct and you still are a phantom, you should be able to walk right through this forest cage. You're right, He-Man. Orko, can you conjure your way out of this forest cage? Uh, yeah, I guess I can. I have a plan. Your phantom powers were enough to get the sorceress pretty worried back at Grayskull. See if you can do the same with Skeletor. Maybe you can distract him long enough for Orko to turn off the force field machine. We're right on it, He-Man. Let's go, Orko. I don't like it. Don't be so suspicious, Cat. <laughs> this is a treat. I've bagged all four of those do-gooders with one trap. Skeletor! But who's that? I've come for you, Skeletor. Who are you? <laughs> Xanthar, your cheap tricks don't scare me. That's what you think. <laughs> Skeletor! Xanthar led us into two traps! I trust him, Cat. He'll get us out of here. Force field control, force field control. Ah, here he is! Well, what did I tell you? I smell danger. Uh, I think you're wrong this time, Cat. On the other hand, you may have something there. Beast Man, Evil Lynn, Trap Jaw. <sighs> Don't you hate it when unexpected company drops in, Cat? This time we have you, He-Man. My freeze ray will hold you. have no effect on me, Skeletor. You! Yikes! We better get out of here! I only hope He-Man and Batman
Battle Cat had enough time to get free. There's no escape for you now. My force field generator, I must turn it back on. <laughs> I'd say you three are the ones with an escape run. <laughs> well, we're free. And Skeletor's hot on our trail. And we still don't know where the real discs are. Hey, man, I've been thinking. Skeletor built Snake Mountain with the knowledge he gained from the discs, so wouldn't it stand to reason that he hid the real discs by building Snake Mountain right on top of them? You're right. To the vault room, everyone. I'll bet Skeletor placed the duplicate discs here to mark the spot where the real ones are buried. but more rock. No, I see light. Come on, you three. The golden discs of knowledge. He-Man, just because you found the discs doesn't mean you can keep them. You're about to find out why I call this Snake Mountain. Just move away. Snakes won't follow you. But the discs are on the other side of the canyon. I know. Leave that to me. He -Man, what are you doing? Xanthor, <laughs> get the discs. Hurry. Atone for your crime, eh, Xanthor? Why not give me the discs? I'll give you something in return. Those long years you spent helpless in the Phantom Dimension, they must have been painful. Yes, they were. Don't listen to him, Xan. <laughs> Xanthor must make his own decision, Orko. It was torture, wasn't it? To be invisible in the world of men, unable to touch anyone, to speak to anyone. It was horrible. Then give me the discs. I will free you from the Phantom Dimension forever. And together we will attack Zodak and your other enemies who put you there. Zodak is not my enemy. You are, Skeletor. No! Come back! So long, Skeletor. Oh, by the way, you've got company. Back, you fool! It's me! It's me! I was wrong about you, Xanthor. I'm sorry. I can understand why you felt that way, Cat. You have done well, Xanthor. And you too, He-Man. I am glad the discs are safe once more. My crime was unforgivable, Zodak. I am grateful for this chance to undo what I have done. We have all learned from this. The overlords of the Eternal Dimension have decided that there are too many Skeletors in the universe to allow the discs to become openly available. Therefore, I, as Cosmic Enforcer, Watcher of the Universe, shall be their guardian. However, keeping watch over the universe is a big task for one man. I need an assistant, someone I can trust. Henceforth, you, Xanthor, shall travel at my side. <laughs> as a cosmic enforcer. Zodak, I don't know what to say. Say nothing. Our task is to watch, and it's time we got to it. Farewell.
farewell, He-Man, and thank you. It was my pleasure, Xanthor. We risk our necks going in the Snake Mountain, we find our skeleton and all of his henchmen and a giant snake, we get the disc, and what I want to know is this. What, Orko? How come I never get any credit? <laughs> 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 In today's episode, Xanthor committed a crime, but when he was given a chance to make up for it, he came through with flying colors. You know, it's important to give our friends a chance to make up for their mistakes. Of course, if they continue to do wrong, we might want to think about whether we really want them for a friend or not. But many wrongdoers do see the error of their ways. All they need is a second chance. Everybody deserves that.